So today's meditation I've entitled, How to Please Jesus. How to please Jesus. And as I read this portion of scripture to you today, I just want you to to do something a little different. I want you to listen for your answer as to how to please Jesus. As I read this scripture today, discern in your heart what God is saying to you through this text. So we're going to read Mark 14 verses 3 to 9. So if you want to follow that in your Bibles with me, that would be great. And if not, just listen to me. Meanwhile, Jesus was in Bethany at the home of Simon, a man who had previously had leprosy. While he was eating, a woman came in with a beautiful alabaster jar of expensive perfume made from essence of nard. She broke open the jar and she poured the perfume over his head. Some of those at the table were indignant. Why waste such expensive perfume, they asked. It could have been sold for a year's wages and the money given to the poor. So they scolded her harshly. But Jesus replied, leave her alone. Why criticize her for doing such a good thing to me? You will always have the poor among you and you can help them whenever you want to, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could and has anointed my body for burial ahead of time. I tell you the truth, wherever the good news is preached, throughout the world, this woman's deeds will be remembered and will be discussed. So my question at the beginning of that scripture was, how should we please Jesus? How do we please Jesus? What stuck out to you? Was it that she worshipped Jesus the way that was right for her and she didn't really care about anybody else? Was it that she loved Jesus with reckless abandonment? Or was it even that she put no price on her worship and adoration? She was all in. What pleased Jesus? Let me tell you what stuck out to me. It was verse 8 when Jesus said, She has done what she could. She has done what she could. And that's it. Sorry it's not super spiritual, and I hope you have discovered perhaps a deeper personal revelation than me today. But for me, my meditation for you is, do what you can with what you got. Be faithful in all that you do and do it with joy and adoration. And Jesus will smile on you today. Amen. I am broken at your feet. Like an alabaster jar Every piece of who I am Laid before your majesty And I will bow my life At your feet at your feet my lips so lost for words will kiss your feet kiss your feet yeah oh the gravity of you Draws my soul unto its knees I will never be the same, no I am lost and found in you And I will bow my life at your at your feet My lips so lost for words Will kiss your